Good to see you again, Scratch Ticket fans, and yours truly, I host Scratch with TIT Productions, and you knew it would happen. Now, you know, we have, we're doing the lottery perpetuation for a while now, and season three is well on its way, and we're doing episode four, but the thing is, what's this? You've got 50 $1 tickets, and you have 13 Winter Wishes, so we are actually, you knew it would happen. We are pitting the two stratagems together. Yes, we are doing Climb the Ladder. And we're doing a, uh, in a row, which you call row, uh, a row pull. Taking 13 tickets in a row of the same pack on the Winter Wishes. And we're doing the Climb the Ladder together. So we have shown you, uh, in a row, tickets right here. We've also done multiple random tickets that we've actually showed you and we've pitted against it against itself and we did the uh, uh, climb the ladder three different strategies different strategies that will allow you to maximize your lottery dollars and to still have as much fun as possible too so let's see what things are going to happen uh we are going to do the duck bills and then stay tuned for the winter wishes we are going to put those together so let's get to scratching 50 Duck bills, one dollar tickets. There's a top prize of a thousand. This can be a fake duck. <laughs> we can have a faker, but it doubles the prize if you don't. So you want two like amounts and then a duck, and you'll do it. Three like amounts, you'll also get it. But if you don't find those two like amounts, two ninety one two two forty two, and there's your odds right there. One and two two five. Uh, highest amount I think in this ticket is a four dollar winner. Could be wrong. It might be a ten, but most of the times I would think it's a four. It's just the way it is. When we have these ones, they are pretty bad with their odds. I mean, uh, you always get the low prizes. That's how I put it. So, let's get to scratching and get this going on. Ah, uh, we are currently still holding about 20 bucks. So, let's see if we can't find anything. There is that E. Maybe we have an O and E. Good way to start it off is to go with a 1. Bad way to start it off is we actually get nothing. Yes. Oh, that's so bad. It could have been four if we didn't get that 40 up there. F. F zero R usually is four. So that is our first loser. We will continue to scratch these as quickly as we can. I know how much you want me to guys. To, you want me to get to those. $10 tickets. Because that'll be the fun one. That's this. We are going to see which one brings it the most lottery. <laughs> Hopefully the 10s bring us more. And they actually, we actually turn it in and get the money. We don't start over. But this will actually hopefully see if we get the maximum amount of lottery. So we'll pay, you know, play $130 of that. But then we'll add on more on this one. And that is also another loser. What is going on? Well, I lost twice, so the third ticket should win. One and two, two, five. Overall, pack odds are different. Not today. They are right up with them. One and three. And there's that $1 winner. We're going to find a lot of those. You know we are. We are hoping for about, you know, $25 to continue on. Let us see. So there's a dollar. One. Well, that stuck with the odds right there. Now we start over and see if we can get some more. Ticket number 288. It's a pretty fresh pack. Well, that's what this is. Don't play with me like that. 40 and 40. I have had a $40 winner on a $1 ticket before, and I had a $100 and even a $50. Those just get crazy. They're few and far between, but it's crazy when you do it. Every other ticket's a winner? Yes, it is. There it is. That one kept better with the odds. Okay. Hopefully we get some bigger winners with ticket number 286. You know we want to. It just doesn't always happen. I think the 
biggest ones we start getting out of this one is like four. Hmm, everything. Just a bunch of everything, which actually equals a bunch of nothing. And we don't like that. No, we don't. I hope you guys had some a Merry Christmas. We are now looking at right down the pipe. New Year's. Hmm. And this is one of those things where you have a fake, you know, a fakey ducky. <laughs> that is actually one of those wooden ducks. And that's what we shot. We got nothing. I hate that. <laughs> oh, I don't like looking at it. Can't. We got a fake duck. That's one reason why I don't like playing this ticket. But that's the only one we got left. All of our other ones are like gone. The holidays, they got sucked up, destroyed. Everybody did stocking stuffers with them, I guess. They're just all gone. And a double ducky. Ah, fake duck. <laughs> I want to shoot that fake duck. Hate it. Ah, I just hate it. I can't stand it. Ah, it should have been 50 and 50 for 100 or something like that. Ah, fake duck. Two in a row. Ah, I hate it. Mmm. Drives me bananas, because they don't need to do that. I wonder if it costs more money to actually print a symbol like that than, you know, numbers. It's just awful. They're doing it to me three times in a row. Ugh. Oh, this is aggravating. Huh. That's just aggravating. Look at that. It's disgusting. Three in a row. That means I'm breaking that the odds with it. That fakey ducky. Driving me insane. This is ridiculous. Four times in a row. Can you believe this? This is like really ridiculous. I hate this. Ugh, this is not cool. I just am getting driven insane with this. This is really crazy. And they're all in a row, too. Ugh, four times in a row with a fake double ducky. Mmm. Ugh, this ticket is the worst ticket ever. I just don't like it at all. And there's finally a $2 winner. See, we don't even have a double ducky there. See, that's what's funny. And <laughs> wasted four ducks for nothing. Ugh. Oh, that's just crazy. TWO. There it is. Wow. Ugh, that was awful. Oh, I wish these tickets weren't the only tickets that were left for the $1 up here. That's ridiculous. Going to get some new ones here, but oh, I hate this one. Probably shouldn't keep saying that, but, you know, my feelings are paramount. <laughs> huh. And I bet you guys don't like it either when you get that fake double ducky. Fakey ducky. Oh. That one's obvious. The G sting of death. Doom. Alrighty. Here we continue. G sting of death. And a double ducky for that. I mean, well, you just let you get over 25 bucks. It ain't going to do you any good. Double for nothing. 10, 100, 220, yeah. Ugh, oh, that just makes me want to get out the old shotgun. Bird shot! Teach those ducks a lesson. Trick me with the one on that one. Okie doke. So, if you don't want to see us do all these uh, $1 tickets, stay tuned because we got the $10 tickets coming right up. Right after. So, get ready. Hey, a double duck. All right. Don't waste my duckies. $2 winner. Gonna see a lot of these. 
how many ways can you get a two dollar winner <laughs> there's an m sting of doom unless we get over 25 dollars so it's got to be 50 50 50 i ain't gonna get nothing all right I am assured that, that I am assured that that is a loser. Here we continue. Yeah, not bad at all. I like to get the two dollar winners more than I like the ones. If we can keep getting twos, and we get twenty five, we get all fifty bucks back. <laughs> and that's a two dollar winner, folks. There you go. Just in case you're not sure. I definitely am. Alrighty. There's an possible one. That makes it a possible none when we get a double duck. Unless you get tan. And as you can see, I do not have that. That's an ugly duckling. Mm. Ticket number 273. Most we have ever won on a $1 ticket is $100. That's just crazy. See Sting of Death. For a second there, I almost thought that thousand was a hundred. Hmm, that would have been crazy. It would have been nice after right after I said the highest amount that we ever won on a one dollar ticket was a hundred bucks. There's that zero. That's a possibility. And it's a true possibility. All right, we will take that. Of course, we will. Any winner you have to take. Sometimes I have actually been pretty upset about $1 winners on certain things. Like, you know, a $20 ticket getting $21 wins. That just makes you want to throw the thing away. Huh. Best to say, take it. And there's a back-to-back -back winner. Wow. Or as we like to say, <laughs> A $2 winner using two tickets. Because <laughs> that's all we can get. That's about the highest we get on this. There's one. It's not too bad when we get a win. We get, you get enough ones, they add up. What you're trying to do when you pull so many tickets like this is try to find uh, the bigger win. That one big win in that pack. Sometimes it can be quite a bit. You got 300 tickets. There's a double duck. I cover everything because if I don't, I won't know what's there and what isn't. Fakey ducky. Fake duck. It's one of those wooden ducks that you use to bait in the other ducks. All right. There is another dollar winner. Better than nothing. Especially better than that fake duck. I hate that fake duck. I really do. Ah, it drives me bananas. B and C sting of death. They are going to get what they want. <laughs> and a W. Not necessarily a W of death, but that's just the way it is. And as you see, there's only like a two fours. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about as good as dead as we can get. That's a dead duck right there. All right. Continuing on. W can mean two. And this one it does. Yep. There it is. Yeah, the biggest thing about climbing the ladder when you do it this way, uh, you have a tendency to scratch a lot of tickets, and it can get real, real boring, and this can actually happen. See that? Uh, you get the scratch dust covering 
your hands and stuff like that. The biggest problem. Back to back winners. Yes, it is. I am for that. For three dollars over two tickets. This is the kind of patch that I like. The winning patches. No matter if we get only a dollar, you want as many winners as possible. Everyone knows that. Two six five. Sea sting of death. Got to get over twenty five bucks. I aren't doing that, so you know what that is—a failure. All right, about halfway through. Yeah, a little over half. I am scratching it as fast as I can. Like you see me scratching all three rows. A double duck or a double nothing. C and M, C D of death. And the M sting of doom. Yep, no 40s. You know, I swear, they waste more ducks symbols on fakes. You know? Fake symbols. Than they do in actually winning. And that's, you know, a waste of ink or whatever. Not to mention a waste of our time. We don't like doing that. There is a one. Good thing they gave me a winner right after a loser. I want to grumble more about it. It's a distraction, I tell you. It's always a distraction. They got their hand in my pocket while I'm scratching all these tickets. Double ducky. Possible two. Or a trick. That turned into another fakey, <laughs> fakey shaky. There it is. That's what that is. They waste more on that though for the fake out to make you think you won. I don't like that. Ah, what do you think about fake symbols? I hear it everywhere. That there, they are everywhere. People just don't like them. And then a one dollar winner after the loser. Okay. I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. Quack, quack. Yeah, behind my back. And there it is. You know they're going to do that. Well, that's kind of funny. Staying right up there on the win-lose, win-lose, win-lose thing. Okie doke. Absolutely nothing on there. I don't even think they doubled anything. Nope. Didn't even have two twos or anything like that. That was just a mishmash of everything. Hodgepodge. Alright. G sting of death. Or a G sting. A G is in there. Oh, and a double ducky doing that again. Ugh. Nothing there. See? Uh, so let's say that... <laughs> what happens is that when you start seeing the ducks, you say, oh, I'm losing. Okay, you're going to lose. That's a guaranteed loser. You see how that is? How they keep printing those ducks like that. That's just crazy. It's an auto-lose. An auto-lose duck. Hmm. And I'm not wrong. <laughs> Okay, that's just the way it is. Yep, it's an auto loser. Just call it an auto lose. Put the duck on there and it's a loser. <laughs> that's an aggravator, actually. Bee sting of death. And another double duck. I think the only way you can win a thousand bucks on this ticket is actually find three thousand dollar winners. That's it. It says thousand, thousand, thousand because I don't see, I've never seen a 500 on here. Do you guys see it? For the double duck to work? I don't see a 500. That's kind of weird. Yeah. 
I've never seen a 500. I see a hundred, and that's about as high as it goes, and then it goes to a thousand. So I think the only way you win on this ticket for a thousand bucks is, in fact, the three one thousands. All I know is I get a lot of the ones. Even if I draw 50 of these tickets, and the highest I've ever got on here was four. It's not just me, folks, so I'm telling you, this happens all over because when they say it's new and improved, you win a lot, but you're getting one two dollar winners. Even in 50 tickets. Now, I did like the increase on the four. They had like one in four, six, one, or something like that. And I bought 50 of them, and that's that double one. And uh, like one in four, one, six, or something like that. Uh, odds, and that's when you start getting like 100 bucks. It's better that way. When you have these better odds and stuff that they say, you win a lot of ones. And you'll pick up a whole bunch of these, and all you'll do is just like get half your money back because all you do is win $1. $1. $2. There's another one dollar winner. And you can't you can never get it back because the highest winner in a pack is only four bucks. Uh you really aren't gonna get that many of those. So you either have to find one of the big winners, like the forty dollar winner or the fifty or something like that. Two in a row. <laughs> Go for it, right straight across the top. I'll take the top, please. Yep, gonna get all $25 that I get back. It's almost like a guarantee. They may make you win a lot, but uh, it's probably a guarantee and lose in the end. Because you really don't get anything bigger than one or two. Back to back to back, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Yep. Well, there we go. Three tickets in a row that win. Just about time for a loser or a big winner right in the middle of it. Of our winning streak. Can't guarantee it. There's an M Sting of Doom. Got a lot of those. Okay, just a hodgepodge of everything. Let's keep it at that. Ticket number 251, stay tuned for those winter wishes. Those are our new winter, the holiday tickets that we have. Not new anymore, they've actually been selling quite quickly. And now you notice that we have no ducks anymore. We shot them all. <laughs> There's another one dollar winner. We had a loser, we had like three winners in a row, and now we have, and then a loser, and then another winner. Okay, works for me. I don't mind that we have take a break and you know take a break on that and then get another winner. How about another winning patch? Followed by one of those big hundred dollar winners. You can always hope. Dream even. But it doesn't know doesn't necessarily make it true. Two in a row again. Wow, okay, now we're hitting a winning patch. Well, if they keep paying us out this way, we might get our $25 or $26 that we're always looking for. And you notice it's actually been very close to doing that. It always does that. Does anyone know the percentage that the lottery has to uh, get back? I think it's something like 30% or something. Pay off all their obligations. Fakey duck, right there, one, two, four, oh, fake. That is crazy. I know I was told once that, that what they had to do, they had like a 30% obligation or something like that. And about the lowest that I've ever had of beasting to death, uh, the lowest that I've ever had on that is, every time a bee shows up, it's double duck and it fails. Okay. Um, I have had 33%. Lost 66% of my money. That's about the highest I've ever had on a spread of whatever. I mean, not 100%, not trying to, you know, ruin myself, which you can. One way to do it is grab one ticket from every single thing in the machine. You can almost be guaranteed that all of them could be losers because you're looking for a dangling winner. That is a loser. So 
wanted to make sure you guys see it. I took it off camera. I might have taken it off too soon, but yep, a guarantee. One of the biggest guaranteed way of losing is to go to the same machine and pull one ticket from every game. You will have a very high rate of losers, possibly because you're at the mercy of what you call a dangling winner. They're just not doing that all the time. There is another one dollar. I like it when I lose and then win, then lose, then win. It's better that way. <laughs> Yes, I've seen high attrition. Um, here's another thing. Go pick up one ticket from every, you know what, from every machine that's the same ticket, all from different packs, and you are in the danger. You are in the danger zone. Oh, why couldn't it have been four? I just didn't find the zero. There's a lot of zeros in there, but F0R is usually the four. They just didn't do it. It turned out to be a loser. Every duck is a loser. <laughs> Almost. It's just disheartening to see that duck. It's like an auto loser. I'm I'm thinking of it as an auto loser now. It's like a, it's like the worst symbol you can get. And it just makes me jittery every time I see it. I don't get excited anymore for seeing a duck. See that? That's what, see Idaho? Idaho lottery, did you see that? You made me hate symbols. I mean, <laughs> just by playing this game, you made me hate symbols. I did not say seven. It's actually one. All right, we're down to the last three tickets, and then we are on the winner wishes. I know that some of you guys have probably, you know, if you don't care about the climb ladder uh, thing, we are going to continue on, and the other videos that come out are going to be continuations of this. Climb the ladder. But the winner wishes are going to be on this one as a bonus. And we're going to pit it up against it to see if it wins. Alrighty. Another fail duck. I mean, ugh. Give it. Give it a rest already. Now I'm afraid to see that duck. Just hate it. <laughs> he finally doubles. <laughs> that duck brought it home. Two dollars. Probably going to be the final one. All right, that's a $2 winner. That's all we've had, folks. I mean, that's kind of sad. I didn't find a single $4 winner on this one this time. But I guess it doesn't matter. We got a hell of a lot of uh, ones and twos. That should be enough to get us up to the $2 tier and do some damage on it. And our final ticket is actually a winner. One dollar. So that's fine by me. If even one of those, you know, all those twos add up. So that's not too bad. How many losers there are right there. You could see them. It's not very thick. Well, it's not too bad at all. And then you see all the winners. I mean, you can't be. I mean, they're almost, they're almost identical. Look at that. See that? Hmm. Okie doke. Let's see what we got. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, twenty three, twenty five. 26, 27. There you go. We got very close to it. We have $27. Huh, that is crazy. That's not too bad. We actually beat those odds from the 25. And we broke those odds with the 26. So now we will begin with the winter wishes. So now you guys who want the part with the winter wishes, here we go. We got 13 of these. Ticket number 47. And what we're doing is we're matching our numbers with the winning numbers. Uh, reveal a... Uh, Coffee symbol or hot chocolate, whichever one you want, or tea, hot cider, whatever you like to have that to be. It has to be hot because you can see the little steam coming off of it. You win the prize instantly. All right. Odds on this ticket are 1 and 335 three, right there. And you got 10, 15, 25. So it's going to jump around a lot, but it will reach that 50 in four. So the fourth one is 50. So that's actually pretty good. Here we go. Scratch this first. And then... Whoosh. Have the winter wind blow this away. Alrighty, here we go. What will we find, if anything? 
thir uh, 4, 8, 13, 18, 31. Here we go. Ah, no 40s. Oh, we got a winner on the first ticket. What the heck? That's an auto win. And you can get multiple ones of those. All right. Here we go. An auto win. All right, we got 9, 17, no. We got an 18, 24, and 46, so there could be more. Give, bring on the coffee. Yes! That could be five and five for ten bucks. An S. See that S there? What begins with an S on this? 10, 15, FTN, 10, TN. 25 T W uh Y. I think is what that is. Uh 50. You won't you won't get a 50 on there. So it's actually bigger than any of those. Has to be. There's no S's. All right. Uh 29, 20, 12, 40. I gotta remember these numbers because we're gonna get a whole bunch of winners from you know what? We could get about 50 bucks. Can you believe it? 50 bucks? Ugh, that's crazy. <laughs> There's another winner. There's another. There's another. Uh oh. Um. Ugh. There's an M sting of death, you know, of doom. But because we've already blown it out of the water, this could be like a ugh, what fifty? I'm gonna stick with fifty right now. We got we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 right now. So hold on a second here. Forty nine. Ugh. We picked a good one. We only needed to pull one ticket. Hmm. Any more, and it gets you know what? Are we gonna even match a number? I mean, that's. Why not? I think this I think this thing's fifty. Not a single number matches or something. Or I just forget the numbers. Okay, twenty-three, twenty-seven, five, forty-two, six. Yeah. Fifty bucks. Why not? I mean I already told you, you can't get up to twenty-five. It's not even spelling it. Not an S. It's like more than that. So what are we gonna get? Merry Christmas, after all. There's 10. There's 20. 30. 40. And 50. There you go. Hey, I am not angry about that. We have more than enough tickets to get something else. I mean, come on. I'm okay with that. Who wouldn't be? First ticket on there is a winner. <laughs> now watch. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm not even going to jinx that because it's impossible. With the odds the way they are, it's impossible to get like, you know, much over five tickets that are going to lose. So before we find another winner. Back to back winners, please. Give us a winning patch on this 10. We actually played these 10s and they didn't do us, o do us over very good. So... Okay, we got 5, 14, or a dyslexic 5 there. Uh, 41, 42, and 50. Yeah, you can already count out that 50. I never get... I never win with a 50. Forget the numbers. Give me all the coffees or hot chocolates or heights, hot ciders. Give me all those. I don't have any 30s at all. I don't have anything with 3 up there at all. I mean, why bother? 41, 42, and 43. Give me the 44, and then we'll have the, the 45 won't be so lonely. 17. One. Wow. That was almost unexpected for me. 26, 36. Yeah, there's no threes at all. 11, 17. No, I'm just, I'm just not going to have anything on that. No threes. I got nothing in the thirties. Sixteen, twelve, thirty-one. Yeah, no threes, so I don't have it. Final row. Well, you already saw the ten dollar tickets just take out the 
climb the ladder, we have to see how much we actually get. Because I am actually going to get another $27 lottery. And this will actually help carry over. So for 2013. Yeah, I don't have any 30s. 15. Yep, that's a loser. That was obvious. Hello, Captain Obvious. There it is. Ticket number 45. Symbol hunt. Our lucky number 12. We don't mind finding 12s. It's the 40s and 50s that we have problems with. Finding matching 40s and 50s are impossible. Look for double numbers. Find double numbers, you know you win. I've never seen a ticket where it actually gave you double numbers down here and then faked you out. It only has one. Okie doke. Hopefully I have a diversity of numbers down here. All right, don't see any double ups. So let's go for numbers. Got a 15? No, no 15, I got a 14 though. 21, got a dyslexic match. No, if I was wearing my glasses, I'd probably get a winner. 16, nope. Gonna have to go through a couple of losers before I actually pick up a winner, I guess. 27, got a 37, and a 26. It's a one-off. It's a guaranteed loser. And a 3. Got oh, the 3s, but not alone. They're not alone. A dyslexic 3 right there. So that's a loser. All right, now we have two tickets down that are losers, and now we are on pushing the odds. Once we push the odds, you know what happens. Another winner has to show up. Okay. Multiple matching numbers, please. Let's do it. If we're going to get nothing but numbers, there is the beasting. Now we have to get over $25 to beat that nasty thing. Once we're on the fourth ticket, then we're pushing the odds. That's not pack odds. They don't talk about the pack odds. I think it's like one in six to get a $10 winner. So there's the S. Yeah, we got to get over $25 now to beat those letters. Okie doke. Any more ma multiple matches on numbers? No, we do not. Okay, here we go. Could have already stung myself and already said that I got a loser here. One, because of those little letters. Little letters cheat. Eight. Little letters cheat. Twenty-nine. Okay. Forty-eight. Got a forty-nine. And a 46, 44, 42, lots of 40s, but not the right one, 45, one off. Yep, and that is what you call a loser. So now I have three in a row. Now we're pushing the odds. Like I said, one in three, three, five. So, winner? Let us find out. Five, 23, and lots of 30s. So we got 30, 33, and 37. Don't need to worry about 20s. Got a 33. So the only thing is we need to do is a 23 is what we got to worry about. But then the rest are 30. So don't have to worry about any of those. How many in a row? Nope. I almost thought it was. I think the last time we had a 3. Right. 
twenty-three is what I mean. Yeah. You don't even want to give me a feel sorry winner. Nope. All right. I'm feeling left out now, now because now we're gonna do a five. That's what we're gonna have to do. Gonna have to pull that five in there. Here it comes. That's four in a row. Is it five in a row? <laughs> That's terrible. I should have just pulled the one ticket and took it and won. <laughs> I would have been crazy. 2, 7, 26, 42, 45. Got to start feeling sorry for me here. Come on, Idaho Audrey. You know it. You got five in a row. Let's see. Don't be like this. Give me the good winner, and then you like, give me all the losers. Get my finger off that 26. Ugly. 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 Five in a row. Hmm. Probably should have just left them all out. 17, 10, 16... 14, 21. Yeah, another loser. Ooh. Six. Okay, let's do six in a row. It's only one in six to win. So now I'm pushing actually what you call pack odds. This, like, very close to being, have to be a winner. Oh, you guys want to know what you can have on number 41. I have 13 of them. Unlucky 13. I mean, I should have just stuck with the first ticket. 2, 17, 28, 40, 41. There. I told you I had to feel sorry for me at one point. We were pushing the pack odds for 1 in 10, 1 in 6 for a $10 winner. And there it is. I, that's what odds we were pushing. 9, 6, 49, and 1. So there's the auto win. I have these dark fingers already. I'm scratching too many scratch tickets. That's what that's what I'm doing. Getting the scratch dust all over the place. And remember, when it's one in six, uh, you get a ten dollar winner. That's what it means. Forty seven. There's an E. Yep, that is an E. All right, so 10, that's what it's going to be, probably. 47, 29, uh, 13, 25, 46. That's probably going to be what it, all it's going to be. Because we push those odds pretty deep. 5 and 5. 8 and 27, yep. There's nothing else with an E in it. Thirty-nine, thirty-five, eight, twenty-seven. Yep, and then the last forty-two, eleven, twenty-one. Yeah, T N. That's what it's going to be. All right, fourteen, seven, twenty-one, eleven, and then forty-two. Yep. Okay, five and five. Don't be that way. You ugly. Ugly ticket. That one's ugly. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. That is actually a 10 dollar winner. We pushed those odds real deep. I mean, we pushed them deep. They had that set up perfectly. <laughs> All right. That's $60 back. And I have, well, six tickets more. That's another possible 10 bucks. So let's hope it doesn't turn out that way. Uh, ticket number 40. We don't want it to turn out that way, but it could. Approaching 45 minutes. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done it that long. <laughs> 11, 15, 42, 43, 44. I wanted to give you some sort of a little diversity in our video here. And show you that we change it up quite often. 
playing different tickets. Hmm, 46, 2, 12, 19, not happening. Try to speed it up for you. Scratching all those ones really took up the time. 16, 47, 18, 22, 39, nope. Can we get back-to-back -back winners? We might. Thirty-seven twenty-four. Dislikes the match. Forty thirty-five thirty-one. Thirty-five forty-one. Nope. Thirty-one forty. No. I'm getting those numbers wrong. Crisscross them in the mind. Six four thirty-three. No. Twenty eighteen. Loser. All right. That's enough losing. Winner. Winner. And then the rest can lose. I don't like losing. I don't like these long stints of losers. 2, 4, 35, 44, 49. But you know that that's what these do. You just can't find those. Um, winter tickets, they always do that. Make up the money. 2819. You can almost tell the losers. 17. FTN, possibly. 1237. 23. I have to see a winning number before I can even... Guarantee that. Ten thirty one twenty. Forty three eighteen. Loser. Okay, that's two. Approaching the pack odds. Thirty eight. Where will we be in three more tickets? Winning, hopefully. Okay, let's take a look. 41. Dyslexic match. 21. Dyslexic match again. 44, you can't lose either way you look at that. But if it's not there, you lose. 13. Got a 12. 18. And we got a winner. There's an 18 right there. Hmm. All right. Do we have any, do you have any 18s we have? Just one. And that is 10 bucks. Well, wow, $70 back. Not bad. <clears throat> That's over half. $130 done on it. 10. Okay. So we played the odds on that one differently. And we still have three tickets left. Hopefully they're not what we all know. I'm not even going to say it, but just think it. Because <laughs> then I'm telepathic. And then they read my, they actually read my mind or I read the tickets with my mind and just sit and not say it. You know what I'm thinking. I'm sending it to you. <laughs> I'm vibing it to you. Let's make sure we get those winners. That's a bee sting of death. All right. Just got to get over $25 to get to beat it. I want to get this done before it hits 60. 
Okay. All right, here we go. Don't see any double numbers, so. A one, really. That unlucky 40, you never find it anywhere. Nine, got a six upside down. You won't find that 50 either. It's just fail number. And a four. That my number, single number that I got is a six. So that's a loser. Keep the mouth closed. Don't say it. Okay, so we ended up getting, starting out really hot and then cooling off. 17, 19, 24, 29, 34. Okay. No 40s. No singles. 17, 18, 19, no 40s. Only one 30. No singles. Nope. No singles. Nope. 38. No 40s. No. Only one 30 that we're looking for. No 40s. We're looking for 31. No singles. There's a dyslexic match. No singles. 13, 37, 10, and 27. Loser. All right, final ticket, folks. Let us cross those fingers and hope for the best. I've only got one. I'm pushing what you call the ah, there it is. Push the pack, the uh, game odds. Match one number, and then the rest were hot ciders. All right. How many? Hopefully, I don't find 10 of them for 10 for dollar under each. So... We weren't really pushing the pack odds for one in six for a 10 spot. There's another one. It's 15. Um, and then it goes to 25. And then 50. So if you get five of them, you can get the 50 like I thought. But you could also get the 25. Because we found that... Uh, letter it actually told us it was a 50 uh, this is going to be another five and five uh, that's a 10 spot or you know well it can't be any you know what i might match a number for 15 let's just check it out 49 can you actually match numbers after you have those auto wins nine i'm gonna 12 dyslexic match 48. Nope. And then a whopping five. Wow. Yeah, give that. All right. And another one of these for 80 bucks. Not bad. All right. That's 10 on the final ticket. We weren't even pushing that. We actually got two $10 winners within one in three. So that's actually not too bad. All right, folks. Who's going to win? Which one is going to win? We found ourselves four winners, even a $50 winner right on the top there. All right there. Who is going to win this? Are we going to have the Ducks continue to give us more? Or is it just going to be with this 80? So are we going to get $80 lottery with this and then get $80 back? Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. If we ended up getting uh, $30 more lottery on this one right here, and we got $130 of lottery here. You got $160 of lottery, even if this craps out. You never know. All right, guys. 
Stay tuned. We will continue on with the climb the ladder on the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you like and what you don't. And hey, we do this kind of stuff all the time. What are you rooting for? You rooting for the row or in a, you know, in a row? Or are you rooting for climb the ladder and these fakey ducks? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. You guys have a great day now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.